We are the Activation Agents, a group of two FAU students, Ryan Thomas and Mitch Gerard, and one FIT student, Sophia Bird. Every year, over 60 million tons of food waste is generated in the United States, which accounts for over 20% of our landfill space. For these reasons, we are developing the Food Waste Derived Activated Carbon Initiative. This initiative aims to collect food waste from large point source contributors such as restaurants, resorts, and cruise ships. This food will then be processed and turned into activated carbon. Activated carbon is a microporous, highly adsorbent material capable of removing impurities from many different mediums and is commonly used in municipal water treatment, food and beverage processing, the medical industry, air pollution control, and has been used in all manned space missions by NASA for odor control and air revitalization. Activated carbon is created by bringing carbon to a very high temperature in the absence of oxygen where it creates micropores throughout the carbon particles. These micropores give activated carbon an average surface area of over 1,000 square meters per gram, which means that a single gram of this material has the surface area equivalent to about six and a half average size U.S. households, or about five grams of this material has the same surface area as a football field. This material works by having your waste stream flow through the material where specific impurities can then be trapped in the pores of the carbon, which leave your effluent stream clean. In order to obtain activated carbon, the food waste must first be collected. This food waste, which is our starting carbonaceous material, must then be processed into pure carbon. The general process is as follows. First, the organic matter will be dried and pulverized to ensure effective processing. Then, the material must be rid of heavy metals. This can be done using an acid solution, which will dissolve the metallic impurities and then be filtered out, leaving only organic matter. Then, the organic matter must be broken down at the molecular level to rid it of hydrogen and oxygen. This can be done through the process of carbonization. This is where you put the organic material in a furnace while flowing nitrogen gas into it to purge the environment of oxygen in order to prevent combustion. The furnace will then be heated to roughly 700 degrees centigrade. This will break the molecular bonds of the organic material and the hydrogen and oxygen will be released as gaseous compounds. This immense heat is also what creates the micropores throughout the carbon particles. If further activation is needed, microwaves can be used to bring the material back up to the high temperatures to increase the pore size and quantity. The obtained activated carbon can then be sold to a plethora of different companies throughout different industries. 